So the next few weeks then looks like this for Arsenal. They've got City in their next game next Wednesday. That'll be live for you on Peacock. Then it's Chelsea at home May 2nd. Newcastle away. Not an easy run, is it? May 7th. Brighton then at home, who are in such good form. And Forest away on May 20th before the end of the season. Uh, Manchester City, of course, fighting on three fronts, trying to get that treble. Sheffield United today in the FA Cup semi-final. And then Arsenal, Fulham, West Ham, Leeds. And then Real Madrid in the Champions League semi-final on May the 9th before they go to Everton. So I watched the show yesterday, chaps, and beforehand you both felt very certain that Arsenal were going to come good against Southampton. Mm. Sort of the perfect fixture for them after mm. what happened against West Ham and against Liverpool. The most surprising scoreline for you in quite some time this season? Yeah, because I, I thought that with them dropping points in the last two games, having been ahead by two goals, thought this, they're going to come out flying, uh, particularly against bottom club Southampton, and they didn't have a shock first goal. And then I actually thought, okay, that's actually not a bad wake-up call. And it got worse. And, and, and so now, now, because it's natural, you start to question their mentality. And can they, can they come back? And, and, and they fought back superbly. But you just wonder how often do they have to come from behind? How often are mm -hmm. they going to let lead slip? Because, again, that then does play into the mentality of it. And, and look, Mikel Arteta and his players have said all the right things. Mikel loves his players. The team spirit's really good. The camaraderie is really good. But what a manager can't legislate for is mistakes. Once they cross the line, individual errors, which have been creeping into this team, the manager can't legislate for and, and team spirit can't legislate for. And so when I look at this Arsenal team, they're not defending set pieces. I mean, it's simple things, right? That's what a champion does. And moreover, it's compound mistakes. You're allowed in football, particularly when you're, when you're Arsenal, to lose the ball. What ends up happening is center backs then come out of slots. People are making other mistakes. So it's not just simply losing the ball. Arsenal are supposed to be expansive. It's what happens after that, and they're just not taking care of business. There have been some wobbles, Robbie, in recent weeks. Did yesterday feel different mm. on a different wobble level? Yeah, it mm -hmm. did. I mean, you can understand the, the Liverpool performance away from home at Anfield. That's a tough place to go and get a point. I know they were 2-0 up. West Ham United uh, is disappointing, when, given where they are on the league table and their games and their European calendar. You'd expect them to win that one. But this one felt a little different. This one felt a little bit like a collapse a little bit like falling apart, mm. which is, God, it's got to be so painful for the Arsenal fans because they, when they needed their best stuff, they were, they're not able to produce it right now. And going back to the errors, this is basic errors. And champions don't make those basic errors on, on a repeat situation here. And, and you know, when you, when you consider who they're following, who they're chasing Manchester City, a draw is like a loss nowadays. You know, you go back... Before this crazy Man City side, you, know, you get away with not winning mm. games. And, I mean, they haven't lost in the last three, yeah. but that's, it's like losing. So they can still recover, but given the drop-off in the last three games, it's hard to see how they can do it. Well, that's what I want to ask you about, that word recover. How? Mm. How does Mikel Arteta get back to where they were? Well, you know what? In the attacking sense, there isn't much wrong. Mm. They've scored a mm. ton of goals, continue to score goals. They've got brilliant attacking players. It's defensively where it's, where it's fallen to pieces. And William Saliba, I've said it before, such a great player. That back four was so fixed and so set. Missing him for two or three games, you might be able to get away with. But over a period of time, it sees why Rob Holding's not preferred to Saliba. So that's where their issue is. But, it, I mean, just stop making mistakes then. Don't make mistakes defensively and allow our front players to go and win a game for you. They have to go and win on Wednesday. Can you see them <clears throat> winning, Tim? Yeah, Yeah, I can because I'm, 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 a, I'm a big fan of this Arsenal team this season, the way they're playing. But what I want to see from them is get the bit between your teeth, be more steely, no more laughs in the tunnel, no more laps of honor after the game, no more falling to the ground with your shirt off. Get out there, get the job done, get back in the dressing room and see this running out. That is your classic Tim Howard team talk, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> that right there. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.